Hi all. So today's video, we want to discuss about the DP900 exam. So data fundamentals. Actually, a lot of people requested this video. That is the reason I think I want to create this video to share my knowledge to you and it will help you a lot to clear the data engineering part because people are really interested to move the cloud technology and the data engineering part, but they don't know how to jump or how to transition their career into the data part. So that is the biggest challenge they are facing and they need a mentor then only they can know how to uh, prepare these exams or how to become a data engineer or how to become a cloud engineer and how to crack the interview how to prepare the resume etc so that is very important part in our career uh, uh, if if you are a good mentor because as a good mentor maybe i can help you but uh, sometimes people don't know uh, they are not aware about the good mentors or how to transition their career if you are if you ready to uh, put your effort at least three to six months or three months you can completely transition to the Azure data engineer or any kind of data engineering part so that we can discuss so first of all if you want to transfer because i think Azure is the most commonly used in cloud technology and gcp also there aws yes but uh, most of the companies are because we are we are the consumers of the microsoft right so microsoft is everywhere so their product also huge demand in the industry so it will not be down in the future so i think this is the gate to transition from the first time if you want to know about the data engineer or you want to crack the data side this is the path this is the first exam you want to clear so i think you can clear this one so this gate uh, you can search from dp900 data platform 900 then you can click on this link you're moving on this this page so this is the exam dp900 azure data fundamentals so here you can see that how you want to study all the exam because download the dp study guide free sample question and exam stand box so, because if you are creating an on view uh, person or on view scheduling with the on view that means we are sitting in the home we are taken from the exam uh, the microsoft uh, instructors are in uh, uh, checking us if we are doing any kind of cheating to them so that is the kind of thing the scheduling so we get an experience before we attending the uh, examination we are getting some kind of experience so that we can use here and exam exam fees is this one uh, so and also if you are there is a uh, online free platform and instructor lead that means paid one also there so if we check this one we can see uh, i think related courses are available but online free that means start that means two modules uh, requirement is the beginner assure start uh, and then microsoft relational database non-relational database and explore the analytics in the Azure. these are the three modules so when we come back to the guide so this is the documentation part so this is the documentation part and in this okay in this one we need 700 is a passing score if you click on this one visiting your environment how the examination need to work and how to prepare the exam practice test also available we, we we get more practice tests definitely i will share the coming days what are the practice tests and what are the questions we will ask in the microsoft examination um the division latest one is updated in the august 4 2022 uh yeah so that is the one uh and uh, uh, you can request an additional 30 minutes to complete the examination so this is the one majorly this exam is focused on the four concepts because you are entering into the azure data community and you want to know about the core concept of the azure so that is a, a part of the core data concept so that is 25 to 30 is the average and identification of consideration of relational database 
there are two things relational databases and non relational databases relational databases means we are arranging the data in a order for example you are arranging the data in an sql server okay so that means in the table in a like a table we are arranging the data so that is the part of the relational database okay that means a relation with we have a relation with the foreign key with each of the key each of the column but in the non relational databases means for example graph graph and uh, cassandra so that kind of thing for example you can see that um, song song video uh, and uh, connection to the facebook uh, items so that we don't have a specific we don't we have we know the connection between them but we don't want to save we, we cannot able to save the data in a uh, predefined to manner so that is the concept in the non-relational data and uh, analytics workload on the assure so these are the core concept we want to know about in the assure con assure dp 900 so coming to our core concept so in the first one is the core concept we have structured data semi-structured data unstructured data this we want to identify and which are the data under these categories that is the one question definitely coming from and describe the common format of data file describe the type of the database okay because we are getting not a txt file excel file any kind of file so that is the one thing that is the under describe the common format of data file and databases where we can store for example uh, sql we can store cassandra we can store so that is the different describe the types of the databases then workload data workload the transactional workload and analytical workload so that is also because we need to manage the workload in different places so that also under the transactional and analytical one and next one will be uh, identify the role and responsibilities of the data workload data administrator data engineer data analytics so the, these are the categories under the core data concept i think hope you're clear then the next one will be identify the relational databases relational databases means the feature of relation that means i already uh, told you because relational database means there is a predefined relation like a table to stored in a databases for example common sql statement very common database object etc then uh, describe the azure sql family product including the azure sql databases this is an example of relational databases azure sql managed instance azure sql server on the azure virtual machine identify the azure database services on the open source database system these are the under uh, category of the relational then non relational we have a weightage of the 15 to 20 percentage okay that means blob storage we have different categories with different uh, categories available blob storage while table then cosmos db cosmos db is important because when we are dealing with the live streaming cosmos db is important identify the uses of the azure cosmos db describe the azure cosmos db api then extra weightage on the analytics so here we can use describe the consideration of data ingestion because we are taking the data from many systems for example sap system uh, sql sql or streaming system so we need to ingest those data and then finally process it and describe the options of the analytical data store uh, data warehousing azure synapse analytics azure data bricks these are the helping because once we ingest the data it will help us to process the data i think hope you're clear so that under this one and the real-time data analytics the real-time data analytics means streaming kind of data because we are uh, we are working on a um, uh, means in the online platform so gaming platform that is a real time right there are two kind of thing is batch and streaming data that is under this category and real-time analytics including the stream analytics azure synapse data explorer spark structured streaming that is under this category then the microsoft power bi okay once we uh, process the data or once we complete the trans transformation we need to show the data in a friend like a website creation we need to show it in a good manner to the client so that time the 
power bi is the solution because we are connecting the data but graph kind of things will display the in the help of power bi describe the features of data models in power bi identify the appropriate visualization for data so these are under the category of the uh, uh, learning path of the dp900 so you can see core data 25 to 30 percentage linked to the learning path also available then the identity consideration of the 20 to 25 percentage and here 50 to 20 percentage analytics help analytic means workload management 25 to 30 percentage so this is the overall path or the structure of when you preparing the dp900 this is the path so you can use this uh a document for the reference and don't uh because when you study don't do any kind of missing on this part because each and every point you will get an answer or you will get a question so i think tomorrow onwards i i will create some kind of video session help to um identify and uh, what are the questions you are expecting in this pp 900 that will help you uh, because I think when I'm creating uh, from the scratch, it will help you more because identify the basic concept, then moving on the uh, real time. Because most of the people requested me to do this one, then move on the real time because they are new in the Ashwa. So that is the reason. So I think I already created 12 videos related to the uh, ADF, Ashwa Data Factory. But most of the people are messaging me on private. So they need some kind of information when we are because if you are going to prepare, the session stage is there if you want to prepare for an interview or if you want to prepare for an uh, or upskill so basic need to be strong so that is the reason i think i can create this one i hope you are clear so i will share this also whatever the link i have i will share yeah okay then happy learning